Внимание! Hey everyone and welcome to a new video. So, today we just got a fresh new update on our English version and we have a bunch of new stuff that we were waiting for, but also we also got some stuff that we did not know that we were getting. So, let's just get into it. First of all, let me start over here with the costumes. We got a new Ear Jasmine costume giving us a bunch of in-battle stats, which we never seen stuff like this before. So all of your Pokemon getting HP, speed, crit and crit damage in battle. And this is actually huge. It's kind of pretty big uh, buffs, not gonna lie. So we are expecting that this costume should be kind of expensive. We don't know yet, but let's hope it's uh, at least kind of affordable for every kind of uh, player. Also, still over here, we have the dolls. So we have new dolls over here. We have Pikachu doll over here running around like a crazy mouse that he is. And also, we have Meowth. Hello, Meowth, do something. Meowth. There you go. Okay, Meowth is boring. <laughs> <laughs> Meowth is actually boring. Um, okay, so still over here on this page, let's check out stuff that we it was not announced. So uh, I believe it's this uh, three last borders, this three last frames. So we have the New Year mouse avatar, we have like the Valentines, and also we have like this Tepic one. Is it is that a Tepic or is it a Pig Knight? I think it's a Pig Knight. Um, so we have this one over here, uh, two of these uh, frames giving stats, so it's kind of a big deal, kind of a good thing. And let's still go to stuff that was not announced yet. Um, so uh, I'm just going over here into the held items, and over here we do have new held items that were not announced, they already existed in the past, then they were removed from the English version, and they already exist in the Vietnamese version, and we got it here, the held items for resonance black and white. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure of what to think about these held items, the descriptions are a little bit confusing, and I'm honestly not sure if they will be, like if they are worth it or not. It feels weird, though. like still speaking about the golden items, um, the held items, we have like the gold seed for more Pico, um, but I, honestly I don't think this held item will be interesting at all, since more Pico is a new Pokemon that we got, and it doesn't seem like anything OP in a way. So we have more Pico over here, the new year more Pico, and then we have like his angry version. Um, like the passive is interesting in a way, increasing your skill damage uh, of your uh, electric type and restriction damage of your dark types. So the passive is kind of interesting, but I don't think this will be a thing. We, ha we gotta wait and see. He can be like uh, fun to use, but I don't think it's... It's, a, it's an important Pokemon, I don't think it's an important Pokemon. Still on the topic of new Pokemon, we also have, uh, let's start with a new Resonance. Resonance, Shadow Mewtwo X, honestly kind of garbage. No skill breakthrough on this guy, there's no information from the developers. The skill power on these skills is garbage, and for those who know, Overlord Shadow Mewtwo is already garbage in terms of he's not an attacker at all, so if Resonance doesn't get any kind of change, bro, no, <laughs> nobody would care about this Pokemon at all. Um, if you guys are thinking about spending money for this, don't, okay? Uh, uh, we would probably need skill breakthrough, we would need to see if this Pokemon gets something else, because honestly, he looks kinda garbage. And it's not even kind of garbage. It looks garbage, actually. Still on the topic of the new Pokemon, we should get a new uh, Flare Zygarde. I did a video about this on my video. I did say like that on the passive he would copy. Like um, if there's like an Overlord Zygarde in the battle or even Resonus, we still don't know if the Resonus works. But he would copy all the attributes of the Overlord. Um, copying all the attributes, we were, were thinking more like about abilities and like more about passives and not actually abilities. But according to A Light, 
we it should copy abilities as well so we still need to wait uh, like to test with a resonance zygarde because if this could copy for example echo power as well which i highly doubt but if it could it, it it would be very interesting if it could copy all of the what this resonance zygarde provides and echo power um, but so far we have no information about it, we don't know if it's working correctly yet, because you guys know, it's English version, so English version is always full of bugs, okay? <laughs> Still talking about the topic of overlords, we have some kind of a leak over here, so we have already Tornadoes with the Overlord evolution uh, available over here. But of course, this Pokemon, it's not in the book yet. It's not in the Overlord section yet. So we should need to wait for another update for it to come. But so far, we already know that it's probably coming soon. Still on the new Pokemon, we also still have Dynamax Ho-Ho. So Dynamax Ho-Ho... Um, Honestly, Dynamax Pokemon are super expensive in our version, so having like any kind of Dynamax Pokemon, you need to have like a big wallet, uh, so most people don't even care about these Pokemon at all. At all. Like, like why should we care about the Dynamax that it's like, it's so expensive and it doesn't provide you that much uh, like power difference or damage difference or actually it's not useful to spend so much while you can just get a rezzo that's just my opinion but let's move on and let's see what other things we still got we also got the dream abilities and secret techniques and uh, third abilities for some pokemon one of them that it's very hyped about is the overlord hoho -Ho, which is with his unique dream ability that it seems like a very strong so overlord ho, ho is already a strong pokemon with this dream ability and all of those extra skills it, it only looks promising honestly like getting all of that oh boy <laughs> there's other pokemon that also got this which is a pokemon that is loved by many which is palkia aka the submarine the perma diving boy he also got his own secret techniques third abilities etc and last but not least i mean it in a way it's a least but hey uh, at least we got stakataka with also a bunch of dream ability and other stuff but honestly eh, i mean <laughs> stakataka nobody uses stakataka i don't think anybody cares about oh it's not stakataka i'm sorry i'm sorry i wanted to say kartana uh, they're both steel types and I was both ultra beasts so my names were a, a little bit uh, switch over here so Kartana uh, dream ability Z skill secret ability F. honestly mm. Kartana no not many people care about Kartana so let's jump into the legendary journey over here on the legendary journey we unlock a new hard mode and this hard mode you guys can get a bunch of things so the hard mode of legendary journey will provide you two kinds of things one of the things being items for dynamax as we have said earlier dynamax doesn't interest many people because they are so expensive but let's just uh, check this out basically on the dynamax you also have some special kind of additional skills now that you can unlock which is similar to the secret technique of some pokemon you get items to level up your experience and to unlock new kinds of dynamax buffs and some new kinds of shields and the second part of this hard mode legendary journey is that you can get and fight some kind of boss every time you complete one of the journeys or a raid one journey you get five experience and with this five experience, once once you reach 100 or once you are just as lucky as me, because you can kind of crit, you can be lucky enough to instantly summon a boss, 
a boss shows up and you fight the boss and once you fight the boss and you defeat the boss you get items for yourself which are which are items for your wish stars uh, there's a bunch of items like that you can get from here uh, we still don't know exactly what kind of chests just as you guys could see I got lucky enough to get like one of those chests and honestly that chest seems kind of rare we don't know yet but everything is in Chinese so uh, Simon Lee please translate this and yeah but we will get stuff for our wish stars which is damn nice And still on the legendary journey, since we have a new Pokemon, we also have a new legendary journey of the new Flare Zygarde. And I will just display the Wish Star translated from the Chinese version in the video right now. And last but not least, on your mount skins that you guys can access over here, uh, you guys can see Dynamax. Pikachu will be the new mount that should be available soon hopefully increases your Pokemon's max HP and speed by 6% in battle so it should be a very nice mount to to have and not just being like the stats but also this Pikachu looks freaking awesome I mean looks fat looks awesome <laughs> And yeah, this is it. Information about the new modes should be like in other videos as soon as we get enough information to make a video about those new modes. And what did you guys think of the update? Do you guys think that at least, for example, the new Zygarde, do you guys think that it has potential? Because it could be promising or it could be a complete failure, just like our friend Rezo <laughs> Shadow Mewtwo over here. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video.